Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to make pumpkin muffins because you know it's that time of year. So uh, I made some the other day and I didn't have a recipe. I made them up and then I realized after I got them in the oven that I forgot an ingredient. So, <clears throat> but they turned out great anyway. Okay, so today I'm going to share that recipe with you, including the mistake, because I found out we really don't need that anyway. So stick with me and I'll show you what I did and how to make these beautiful pumpkin muffins. And don't worry, I will include the recipe in the description box so you'll have it, mistake and all. <laughs> Okie okay. doke. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. It would help me out and it just might help somebody else. In my silver bowl, I've got two cups of self-rising flour. If you don't have two cups of self-rising flour, you can use regular all-purpose flour, add one teaspoon of baking powder per cup of flour. That's the general rule. To the flour, I've added a half a can of pumpkin puree. This particular pumpkin comes from Aldi. Now I'm adding in one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. You can add this to taste. If you want more, add more. If you like less, add less. Now I'm adding in one cup of brown sugar. It does not have to be packed. To that I am adding three tablespoons of white sugar. Add two whole eggs. Now we're going to add in one cup of milk. With my wooden spoon, I'm just going to mix it all up until everything is well incorporated. Your mixture will be thick. You don't need a mixer or an electric utensil for this process. One thing we need to add is some vanilla. Your mixture will be thick and it will look lumpy. That's okay. It's supposed to be like that. All right, I've got my my muffin tin or cupcake tin lined with just some inexpensive paper liners. And I've got my handy dandy old ice cream scoop and I'm going to fill each muffin liner or cupcake liner. Now, I like to make mine full. You can make yours however you like. I like to see my muffins rise up above the liner. I think they are awesome that way. Okay, I've got them filled. After they're filled, I like to give it a, as Chef John says, an old tappa tappa. And I have one more step. I like to take a little bit of brown sugar on all the muffins I make and I like to sprinkle a little bit on each muffin before baking. If you don't have brown sugar you can use plain white sugar that's fine but it makes the muffins have this nice crunchy top that is absolutely delicious. Okay, these are ready to go in the oven. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Uh, I'm going to bake these on the middle rack for between 18 and 20 minutes. Okie doke, these are done. Now, to take these out of the hot pan, I just edge a, just take a fork and gently lift out the muffins and then I put them on a rack to cool off. 
Now then, I have about enough batter left for at least two more muffins, maybe three, we will see. So I'm gonna get these in the oven so that they're all baked up and then we'll be back. Okay, all the muffins are done. I got 15 muffins out of the, the uh, recipe. Now, can you guess what the ingredient was I left out? <laughs> oh, you guys are so smart. I left out butter or oil. I put no fat in this recipe and they actually turned out beautifully. Here's a hint. If you're not familiar with muffins or cupcakes, if you put a skewer in the center or a thin bladed knife and it comes out clean, then you know that your muffins slash cupcakes are done. Okay? All right, that's the test. Now, my muffins are very hot, but I wanted to show you a muffin from the last batch I made. Uh, this is Sunday. I made the batch the day before yesterday, and um, I got a couple of them left, but I had company yesterday, and so I had the privilege of being able to share these muffins for others to enjoy as well. Isn't that awesome? So, I'm going to peel off the paper and show you. Now, th these have been stored in an airtight container. So, here is my muffin. Look how nice it is. And I'll show you, let me show you what it looks like. They're very, very nice. Look at that. Warm it up and put some butter on it. It's really delicious. Mm hmm. Mm. Have it with coffee or tea. Awesome! <laughs> All right, that's it for me today. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget the recipe will be in the description box. And as always, you know that little is much when God is in it. Okay? All right, like Bob Ross says, it was a happy little accident. But it worked out good. All right. Love ya. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.